channel. I'm going to go through the free code camp, how learn HTML forms by building a registration form. And this is step one here. So here's what we're going to be building. So as you can see, it's a, a very simple form. It's got some radio buttons, some check boxes. Uh, I've got file upload inputs and um, a drop down here, a select options. So, and at the very bottom, we've also got a submit button. So let's get in and start coding. So step one, welcome to the registration form project. Start by adding the doc type HTML declaration at the top of the document so the browser knows what type of document it's reading. So this is index.html. So all we want to do is type the doc type and that's HTML and then just close off that tag. So let's check the code and there we go, that passes. So let's move on to step two. So below the doc type, add a HTML element. Uh, so we're gonna do like that, HTML. Um, and we want to give it a lang attribute equal to en. Um, so that's going to be the string en for English. And let's see if that... Oh, so it doesn't pass because we need a closing HTML, of course. Um, so there we go. There we go, that passes. So step three, add an opening and closing head and body tags within the HTML element. So what I'm going to do is do a head tag like that and then close off the head and I'm just going to copy that down so that was option shift and the down arrow and what I'm going to do is multi-select these two here with the holding the option key um, otherwise I believe it's the alt key on windows and put body here as well so there we've got our head and our body opening and closing for each of them there we go step four and let me just get rid of this to ask me later. Uh, step four, add a title and a meta tag to the head. So title, and title. Again, I'm just going to clone that down and just rename this one to meta. Um, and give your project the title of registration form. So registration form and the char set attribute with a so I think it's this one equals UTF uh, F. So UTF dash eight. There we go. Oops. There we go. That all passes. So that's the character set. Um, and UTF eight is, uh, yeah, just a, a character set um, for this document. And obviously, it's within the head tag, so it's not rendered to the page. Then nest a self closing link within the head element. So that's going to be like this. So self-closing, so it doesn't have a separate closing tag and give it a rel attribute, which is the relationship um, to style sheet and a href, which is where it's linking to, to styles.css like so. Let's check that and that all passes. Cool. So step six, within the body, provide a heading context for form by adding a h1 like so, and we'll close it off. And we just want to put registration form like that. And that passes. And then step seven, below the heading, use the following text within a paragraph to encourage users to register. So I'm just gonna copy that text and I'm gonna create a P tag just below everything else there, below the header and paste that in like so. And we can see this now being rendered to the page as our h1 and our paragraph. Perfect. Step eight. So the VH unit stands for viewport height and it's relative to 1% of the height of the viewport. So for example, 50 VH would be 50% um, of the height of the window or the visible window um, is what I kind of refer it to. Um, so it's time to spruce up the project with some CSS. So now we're in styles.css and begin by giving the body a width of 100. So we're going to target the body here. I'm going to give it a width of 100% and a height of 100 VH like that. Let's check that and that passes. Step nine, to get rid of the horizontal scroll bar, but set the body default margin um, to zero. So basically some browsers will add a default margin 
Um, and we can do like something called a CSS reset or something similar where it kind of resets any margin padding or other properties that we don't explicitly set. But as you can see here now, setting margin to zero removes that scrolling within the registration form window there. And that passes the challenge. And then finally for this video, step 10, that is better. Now make the background easy on the eyes. So we're gonna change the background color to this hex code, which if I just do that now, let's have a look at what that looks like. So that's a, a dark kind of theme there. And then we just want to change the text to sort of a whiter color. Um, so that will be kind of a light white as we can see there, not, not pure white. Um, that would be just three Fs. So there is some, um, yeah, I guess sort of grayness to it, but yeah, it looks a lot nicer now. There's a, a dark background and lighter text. And let's just check that. And there we go, that's all passed. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.